Hi Virgo, welcome to your February 2018 overview reading. This is good for you if you are a sun, moon, or rising Virgo. And I have a ton of new decks to show you guys this month, so I'm super stoked about that. I'd also like to let all of you know that I am going to start doing deck reviews. So if there's a specific deck that you would like me to review sooner, go ahead and drop it in the comment section or if you remember a deck that you want me to review and go over like what it's like, what the personality of the deck is like, you can drop a comment in an older video if you don't remember the name of it. And I will try to bump those up sooner so that I can get those out. I'm just going to put, I'm going to publish one of those a week. So they're coming. All right. And also for this reading, the way it's structured is you have the central energy for the month is the green card and then the black and white cards um, in the center. The center four ones are going to be your internal world, what's going on with you personally. And then the outer four cards are your environment, kind of the context of what's going on around you this month. So I hope that you enjoy this reading. If you're new to my channel, I do a growth period timeline, which I'm pulling for you right now. Okay, so that one, second quarter. All right, and okay. So let's get started, Angels of Abundance. So if you have a career question or you have a money question, this will give you some insight for the month of February on what's going on there. Gratitude list. All right, if you wanna pause that and read it, you're welcome to. But this is all about showing gratitude for the things that you do have, for the abundance that you already have in your space. Um, the more you sink into feelings of lack, the greater that is going to become. So the more gratitude and appreciation and abundance you show and feel, that is going to support your manifestations 10 times more. And the truth bomb is look your desire in the eye. Okay, so this is like kind of going back to basics with asking what you want. Um... That's a big thing that comes up for a lot of the people that I work with is like, what do you want? Have you identified what you want? If you haven't done that, start there. Start with your desires, start with the things that you want, and then you can build off of that. But if you're aiming at nothing, you're gonna get bottom of the barrel stuff, okay? So the central energy for Virgo this month is patience. Oh boy, my least favorite thing in the whole wide world is being patient and having to wait, right? So I definitely see this as being something where you're coming into a period that is, you have manifestations coming in. I don't know if you saw the 2018 reading, but that was one of the big things is you have these massive manifestations making their way to you. You just have to be patient because they're, they're on the horizon. They're coming to you. And what's going on in your internal world? We have the Hierophant. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to pull this card first before I start reading that one. And we have the King of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely like your fire, your ability to create things is going to revolve around the structure that you give yourself. So the more disciplined you are in February, the better your results are going to be. That's not always the case. But for you in February, if you give it structure, if you stay disciplined, if you commit to yourself and the things that you want, if you commit to your desires, it is going to be a stellar month. So this is indicating don't slack off. Even if you can't see, whoops, sorry, I bumped the table. Even if you can't see what's coming next, be patient. Be patient with the things that are coming in. And with the Hierophant, it's saying, hey, the structure is going to support you and you already have the motivation, the energy, the, um, the, like the internal fire. All of that is there. It's just a matter of 
you kind of blending the two together like don't let the fire get too out of control and don't let the structure become fatiguing it's about blending them together and I want to remind everybody I'm sure you hear me say this a lot if you watch my channel regularly but listen to your body a lot of people are completely disconnected from what they're feeling and that is giving you information on the next steps you need to take so don't ignore that we also have Nine of Rods. See, you're like on fire in February. Like, if you don't get out of my way, you're going to get crushed underfoot. Like, that is what this card is about, is moving forward with such ferocity that it, it you're going to get where you want to go. Um, but it's just about not burning out too quickly. So keep that in mind if, if you have a tendency to burn the candle at both ends, go all out really fast. Um, you know, just make sure that you are including patience in that as well. And then we, oh, two of cups. Here we go, connection. If you're looking for a romantic partnership, then that's definitely um, going to be woven in. I won't say cuz part of this is saying well if you're waiting if you're waiting for partnership it's going to be woven in to February but it may not be full blast in February. Does that make sense? Like maybe some sprinkled dates that aren't going at the pace that you would like, right? So maybe you want things to speed up and go faster and faster and faster. But you got to stay patient. You got to stay grounded. I am going to clarify the Two of Cups so we can see what you, what else you need to know about that energy. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so things are turning around. You just kind of have to go with the flow for a little while. Okay, so don't don't get too sucked into any controlling energy make sure that you're still holding on and and maintaining your patience and things are going to naturally evolve with whatever connection that is so it's going to be friendships for some of you partnership for some of you um, perhaps meeting a business partner if you need someone to help you manifest this thing it's going to be a good month to call in that person Okay, now in your external world, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this is in reference to a Sag Leo or Aries. Uh, perhaps like, hey, yeah, you might be dating this person. Um, or this could be a partner who's offering you a lot of support, who's helping you stay grounded and disciplined in the things that you'd like to make happen. This could also be like a business partner or a boss or a friend who's able to to help you kind of see w the direction that you want to go. And so this person is really, because I'm seeing them as being strongly connected to the Hierophant energy. And so this person is kind of helping you stay disciplined and giving you that motivation and fire. Okay, we also have the Two of Pentacles, the decision. You kind of not knowing what the outcome is going to be for whichever decision, but it's all about, um, again, I'm gonna say listen to your body for that one. Let's see, I want a little bit more context to see what exactly is going on with that. Let's clarify. Two of Pentacles, what is that? Three of Winter, okay, so this is the Three of Swords. Um, Bleeding heart, right? So, um, ooh, that's interesting. If this is you working with some grief that's still hanging out. This is also about worthiness. It's kind of like this is indicating are you going to step up to the plate and really step into your full worthiness and abundance of, yes, I deserve good things, or are you going to shy away from it? Sometimes if we're holding on to grief, then it, it gives us permission to not get the things that we want, to not be in fulfilling partnership, to not move forward. 
I'm not seeing this as being like a situation. It's just, are you going to say yes to things that are good for you and no to things that are bad for you or not? Um, and so the more you can uh, heal and work with this grief energy, the easier February is going to be. We also have the Seven of Swords. So this is navigating a situation that might be a little bit tricky or require extra an extra layer of support, so to speak. So it's kind of like with whatever you're navigating, it might not be as simple as it appears on the surface. And so if you get support with that or you kind of take a few things off the table first, it's going to clear up that space so that solutions can come in. If you're running into a situation that seems intractable or, or really frustrating and, and there's a lot of friction involved, um, just keep in mind that it, it might be wise for you to just kind of set a few things on the back burner temporarily and, and clear up a little bit of time and space so that you're more supported. Okay, and we also have two of swords. Okay, so we have two twos. Um, this is... You're not going to know what's happening next. You're just going to have to put one foot in front of the other, be patient, trust that things are happening the way they're supposed to. And the more you can kind of surrender that control, the easier you're going to have it this month, okay? So this is the timeline for you. This is your growth period. So first, second, third, and fourth quarter, we have luminous. This is you lighting the way for yourself. So you kind of finding, picking out, creating the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it's going to require that energy for you to, you know, really step in and say, okay, I'm, I'm doing things that are right for me. I'm moving forward. I'm moving towards the light. Like that is an active decision that we have to make even when it's not easy right? So tap into that as often as you can. Whatever lights your fire, whatever gives you that motivation, do more of it. Quarter two, purposeful. Okay, so there's something going on here where you have, there's something that you're making happen. Okay, so don't shy away from that. It's something that you can step into, but it's also about looking your desire in the eye, like I pulled in the beginning. If you focus on it, if you're aiming at something, then this blooms and blossoms and flourishes. If you're not focused, if you're not aligned, then this is going to be harder to obtain. Quarter three, we have mindful. So this is practicing... Um, again, gratitude, mindfulness, if you have a meditation or yoga practice, that's going to be extra important for you in navigating this situation. So this is like the medicine. You're learning about how to use your tools in times of stress or times of, um, you know, times where there's situations that are not going the way you want them to. Um, and so the more you can sink into that and use your tools, it's going to make it a lot easier. Quarter four, we have angelic. This is you using your intuition to guide your next steps and to problem solve. It's also in reference to the angelic realm. If you work with angels, it's a good time to use them. Call on that extra support. You know, use what you have in every capacity, um, listening to your body, doing body work, making sure that you're using whatever um, guides or angels have your back. It's all about working with that, um, that energy as much as you can. Okay, these two cards, if you are coupled, if there's a specific partner that you have, this is your card. And if you're dating or, you know, looking for partnership, single, what, whatever, this is for you, okay? So for those of you who are coupled in February, we have Queen of Wands. This is, I'm seeing this as you. It's your fire, your passionate self really coming through. It looks like you're surrounded by a lot of fire, 
We have a lot of warm tones on the outside and it looks like you're kind of taking, taking on more of that, um, you're embodying more of the Queen of Wands to like keep things, keep the energy high, keep things, um, you know, uh, it's also in reference to communication. So any communication stuff that you have going on, it's like you're the initiator, you're you're really taking the lead in terms of communication this month. Okay, and if you are single, this is for you. We have the Two of Swords. So this is, I feel bad giving this to you, so I'm going to clarify it. It's not a bad card. It's just the, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to show you what it is. I might not have permission to read it. It might just be, you know, because we got the Wheel of Fortune. We have the two of, oh, wow. I'm just noticing this. You have two of pentacles, two of cups, and two of swords. And then you have two of swords again. So let's see what else is coming through for that. Mother of Spring. Okay, so Queen of... Uh, Queen of Rods, again, okay? So it looks like there's definitely some overlapping energy, um, whether you're single or um, coupled. And so it just seems like the, the fire is what's making you magnetic. It's what's creating chemistry in a current relationship or the relationships that you have coming to you. It, the more you can use your fire to your advantage, the um, the easier your relationships are going to be. It's kind of like the way I'm reading this is like Virgos are waking up, especially after, you know, Capricorn season, which can be really um, fatiguing for, I mean, for a lot of people at least. It looks like Virgos are really waking up. And so there's a lot that's in the works, that's brewing underneath the surface, but you're not gonna have all of the answers right away. It, it's There's still a lot of movement, so you're gonna have to sit with this this month, and I guarantee you by March, you're gonna see a lot of stuff like start sprouting up out of the ground. So just hang tight, um, and this is going to clear up. There's just a lot of movement, and again, the core card is patience. Now, this is a three card pick. I absolutely do not care if you pick before or after I pull them, okay? So card number one, five of feathers, strategy, resilience. This is the five of swords. So this is problem solving, very similar. If you picked this card, then it's this is going to be very, very important for you. This situation, whatever this is, making sure that you're setting some things aside and you're making space for the things that you want to create, that's gonna be key for you this month. Card number two, we have six of feathers, transition, insight. This is you moving forward and leveling up. It's like you're solidifying all the lessons that you've experienced before and you're, you're able to use that to your advantage in February. It looks like there's finally some stability and clarity coming from those experiences. And card number three, we have Eight of Shells, Quest, Renewal. This is a total overhaul in perspective. It looks like if um, January was a rough month or you felt like you were having a hard time, uh, February is going to be a lot easier in terms of mindset. So again, like you're waking up, you have all of this light around you. Um, even if you're blind right now, you have a lot of warmth, a lot of fire surrounding you. So don't forget that. Okay. And that is all I have in terms of the reading. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much Virgo for joining me. I absolutely appreciate you. And don't forget, if you're looking to work with me, everything is in the description box. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you want a tarot spread, whatever is your jam, um, you can get all the info there. Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. I send out lots of goodies throughout the year, bonus reading, solar year reading, um, all of that good stuff. And don't forget to drop a comment if there's a tarot deck that you would like me to review sooner rather than later and I will bump that to the top of the list and until next time have an awesome February bye bye